Swift Voyager 874. No, 584. No, it's 874. No, it's not. All right, so we're just disagreeing on the numbers there. <laughs> so you're right. I'm it's actually a... right. I'm right <laughs> for once. <laughs> Right, so welcome to this October update. That's affecting us what it is. Yeah. Uh, we're, we've uh, finished filming at the NEC Motorhome and Caravan Show for this year. Filmed about 20 vans, a couple of caravans as well. Yes. Uh, we mainly filmed what we were interested in looking at personally for ourselves, plus some of the new vans. So we missed. Quite a bit, really, I suppose. People have been saying, saying, why didn't you? Yeah, and we didn't film Auto Trail or Roller Team because um, there were no new models. So, And also we didn't film Hobby and IH because we knew that Posh Cats would be doing that. So yeah. if you want to see videos about that, so uh, please have a look at their channel. Hop over to Posh Cats Camping. Yeah. Uh, link down below. Yeah, so um, we've... I looked to see how far we'd walk. We went in, well, I personally went in three days. Yeah. And I walked three... We both three... went in three days. Did you not go in more than me or less? No. No, no, no okay. No. All right, I thought you went in more. We went in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, didn't we? Yeah. You yeah. spent a bit more time on Wednesday with I was Alison. there long, long, or yeah. longer on Wednesday. I mean, I started at 10 and didn't finish till well, gone three. Yeah. yeah. So I, I've walked three miles each day. Yeah. Because it's quite a way from 12 to 17 and then we well, went back again. it's not just again. that, it's from the car park to, <laughs> to the <laughs> before, walls. Before you even get to the walls, it's quite tiring yeah. walking. Yeah, I mean, it, it, if you do struggle, there are buses that run from the car parks to the to the front door. But there's still a lot of walking, walking. inside the halls. So, yeah, there you know, is, yeah. So do bear, bear in mind. But I've enjoyed, enjoyed our visits there and it'd be yeah. lovely to meet subscribers. Yeah, I think I enjoyed what the, um, the, uh, the Thursday the most. Yes, yeah, I'd had to sort of drag you away on the Thursday, didn't <laughs> gotcha. I? It was, we were only going in for sort of like two hours. Got chatting to everybody, didn't we? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that yes. was enjoyable. We didn't film too much of that. We were obviously were thrilled to meet uh, John and Amanda. We followed them for absolutely ages. Yeah. And we had a really good uh, talk with them. And hopefully we'll meet up with them uh, later in the year or next year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that'll be good. So looking forward to that. Um, we, we've sort of been doing a little bit thinking about we, I mean, the real sort of reason we went to the show was thinking about our next van. It doesn't mean that, well, I don't want to probably come on to that. <laughs> <laughs> get, get me uh, words in a knot not. here. Um, but we, we came with the idea of what is going to be our next van. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. then we wanted to have a look at it. So we were mainly looking at, uh, at um, twin, uh, twin beds. But I also noticed, actually, that... You say we were, we were just looking at twin beds. Yeah. There were so many vans with that layout yeah. at the show. Yeah, you know, and, and a, a few people have commented that there didn't seem to be much variation. And it, well, it's partly because we were only looking at that, uh, that sort I, of particular layout. But I also layout. think that there wasn't much, that layout now with the, the twin beds at the back and the centre bathroom seems to be a very common layout now. It yeah, must be that yeah. that sort of type of layout is selling very well. Or it's easier to produce. Yeah. Uh, and it sells well. Uh, I mm. mean, layouts like the French bed layout have, have, have gone sort of out of fashion, haven't they? Yeah, uh, yes. I noticed that the Adamos don't come with a French bed layout. No, and there's no. Only, is there only one in the autograph range that has a French bed layout, which was why it was so interesting to meet up with Linda, our friend Linda Turner, who's got this straight-to-sleep system that uh, allows you to make... A French bed with a cut off into a square bed. But let's face it, the, the reason the French beds are not selling is because people find that cut off either unacceptable or, or it ruins their, their night's sleep. And we have had experience of it, haven't we? Because we borrowed a Bailey autograph yeah. a couple of years ago and that had a French bed. And you stepped on the outside and it was quite. Uncomfortable, wasn't it? Yeah, well, my feet were getting were hanging off the end and they were getting mm. cold, so you're waking up with cold feet. Plus, I found because my feet were, you can't help it. You know, you can you can decide that you're going to sleep on the on the mattress as you turn over, your feet flop over the end, and particularly for someone who's a bit taller, mm. we just found well, just ruled it out really, didn't we? But you know, if you got that cut off thing, it might be something that we could figure into our our next van if if you can. You know, find a French bed 
uh, van that's mm. comfortable, then we wouldn't have to worry about the cutoff. No, no. So that's why why we were really interested in that. So yeah, interesting to to meet up with it. We've had lots of feedback on the system, and I'm sure Linda's had a lot of feedback on the system. So. So that's going to be interesting, see how that pans out. So stay tuned and we'll keep you updated on that. So we're, we're, we're still sort of, I mean, it's not imminent, is it, that we're going to change the van? We're just sort of looking at the moment. Well, you never know how imminent it's going to be. <laughs> we weren't going to imminently change the Bolero. No, we, no and I think we just saw something that we liked and yeah. thought, oh, we'll, we'll do that. So it may be we, we, we'll see something that we like and we'll go and buy it. So what did we like? Do we like? Yeah. Well, I liked the new Adamo 754T because I the bedroom I thought was, well, you know, the, very clever because it was just short steps, not big, huge ones. Yeah, and, and they were, they were uh, long they steps. They were they were wide, yeah. 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 And yeah. There was, so there was quite a nice area. And yeah. also, I thought at that bit in the middle where you could actually get through to the garage mm. from the bedroom was good because we did miss that when we borrowed the one with the island bed, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, Because the original one we borrowed, 69.4, you mm. could get through to the back. Yeah. So then we thought, well, we'll the Swift Voyager 874. No, 584. No, it's 874. No, it's not. Right, so we're just disagreeing on the numbers there. <laughs> So you're right. I'm it's actually a... right. I'm right <laughs> for once. The <laughs> Swift Voyager 584. Yeah. 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 So we looked at the Swift Voyager 584 and quite a few people were surprised that you weren't so keen on it. No, I think it was, well, again, I think it was the steps getting into the bed. A bit higher. It was higher. Yeah. And oh, the, I mean, I think I said at the time that I'd like a combination of the two of them, really, yeah. because the yeah. Swift's bathroom was, was so better. much better yeah um than you know we we have said about that toilet in the adamo and yeah. up on the thing yeah. um but other things about it i'd prefer the adamo so i'd like the, the two sort of put together best bits put together yeah, but... that was possible so swift and bailey can uh, have <laughs> a is merger very unlikely isn't it yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but yeah i mean the thing put me off the voyager a little bit is the extra length we were looking for something slightly shorter and that's longer. And that's longer. You know, yeah. So, and it also, it, it, I have this problem with the, the Swift range anyway. You've got the Contiki's, which you've got absolutely everything on them. Mm. The price is way up here. And then you've got the Escape, which is slightly lower spec than this one. And they, they don't do this model anymore. And there's a huge, well, to me, there seems a huge spec gap between the Voyager yeah. Escape uh, and, and the Contiki. Yes, whereas there was always the Bolero or there was always a Bolero Tiki in the middle, so. the Besser car in, in sort of like in the middle. Yeah. yeah, I think they possibly felt that with the Swift, thanks Pops, with the Swift <laughs> Contiki Sport, they were actually giving things away too much. You know, we got the Swift control panel, we got mm. the Audi heating. And the roof vent. And, and the and roof vent and all these yeah. sort of features that came standard on yeah. the, the Contiki Sport are no longer standard. You haven't mm. got the, the control panel in the Voyager or the Escape. No, no. You know, so... And I think, like, like a lot of people have noticed, that some of these layouts are very much the same all throughout the Swift range, aren't they? They've all now come in with the travel seats yeah. and the Contiki yeah. right at the top. Yeah. And this, like we keep saying, this centre bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're not a real fan of the centre bathroom. We do like the back bathroom. So... What we were doing yesterday, we, we were having a bit of rest, but we were also having a little think about the, the vans that sort of came into our, our consideration. Yeah. Okay, so that's the Swift Voyager 584. Yeah. The Bailey Adamo uh, 754T. Yeah. And the Bailey Adamo 69.4. Yeah. And this van. Yeah. Because we had to ask ourselves, uh, is any of the features... Uh, and layouts on the newer vans better than what we've got. So yes. we, we did a little scoring, didn't we? We yeah. did a little spreadsheet and we, yeah. we put some scores on the doors, as it were, for the pros and cons of each model because there's nothing there that ticks every single box. No, no. Not, not our van, not the Adama, not the no. Swift Voyager. Mm. There's always some compromise. And we, we were trying to figure out, and I, just, I don't know how scientific it was, 
whether we could score each of the pro pros and cons. We give plus marks for the pros and minus marks for the cons. So we sort of added it up and did scores on the doors. Yeah. <laughs> which was quite so, interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, so which van came out? Which came, came out top? Yeah. Well, would you be surprised? <laughs> no. It was this van. <laughs> One we're sitting in now. One we're sitting in, in now. That you know yeah. there are compromises in here, but like we haven't got the storage space I'd like. Mm. You know uh, um, the the irritations like the the big table and and things like that. Yeah. But the pros of it outweighed the cons yeah. by a larger margin. So yes. what was second? <laughs> second was the sixty nine four. Yeah. And again, I think because there was a rear bathroom with that. Yeah. I mean, I know there were. There was probably we had problems with the the door, I but honestly, hopefully, if you bought, you know, that was just or you the get one it we fixed had. Under warranty and but yeah, it was just. Uh, yeah. But that was a nice bigger bathroom, and I mean, I think I said to you this morning that because you know, the bedroom and then the bathroom, I could just get out of bed, mm. go into the bathroom, mm. come back out. I did feel with some of the with the centre one particularly with that island bed one, that I had to sort of like make the bathroom before I could use it. Because huh. you've got to pull the door across in the bedroom and then shut the, shut the other door. Yeah, yeah. Whereas here, I just get out of bed, open the door, go in the bathroom, come back. And I think every time I, one of us got up in, in that sort of setup, mm. you really did wake the other person up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's a big consideration, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Good night's sleep, you can't. No. No, I mean, coin a phrase, you can't whack it, can you? Good night. <laughs> <laughs> what made, yeah. made me laugh was we bumped into Bosch cats, didn't we? And they were looking at the Dreamer stand. And Sue was in one of those um, camper vans. And she was pulling out this, I don't know if you've seen, you've probably seen it, hopefully you've seen it. She was pulling out this great big sort of structure out of the wardrobe that yeah. made into a shower. And it, we thought, oh, that's really clever, you know, and all that sort of thing. But we went round the back and of course we realised it pulled out this great big structure and the person, poor person still in bed, <laughs> whacked in the head with a bit of cupboard. Oh, would you? Oh. Yeah. Oh, so you all got to get up because someone's having a shower then. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, we don't want anything like that, please. No, I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't uh, sound ideal does well, it? no I, I, I think I've, I've said before there's lots of sort of what seem like nice features that would really really get on your nerves yes. and one of them was actually in a bursner wasn't it yeah yeah um, I mean, we, we commented on it and I know people have commented that they didn't find it a problem but it was the pull out step yeah someone did say they had to get it um, change the catch on it changed under warranty yeah. because that that didn't it wasn't yeah. strong enough no no i just well it's just another it's because i mean i think we we um thought to, thought about wardrobes didn't we when we were yeah. looking at the different models and i said well we've got two wardrobes and we put things in it and things are in the wardrobe and you can that's forget about it them. yeah you know, but yeah. if you Again, sort of that, climbing underneath... Yeah, to, that's the thing we liked about the Adamo, was the cupboard at the back with, yeah. you know, and it's out of the way. The 69.4, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. the 69.4, and you can get to the garage. And so, you know, the, if we were going to get another van and we want to go shorter, the 69.4, it, it ticks all the boxes. Part, yeah, I mean, it, it was but the Apart one. from the shower and the toilet. No, not in the 69.4. Oh, not 69.4, beg your pardon, no. So we looked at no. too many vans. Yeah. No, 69.4 is the bathroom at the back. Yeah. I was going to say, apart from the fact, obviously, you've got the drop-down bed. Yeah. But that, yeah. Um, as long as you all agree to lower the bed... Well, you agree when you're going to bed. Basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. But uh, it, that may be something, you know, we, we, we can live with. I, I, you know, we, we did whilst we were away. Yeah, there were a couple yeah, of occasions right. when you you thought, when are we ever going to bed? When I was editing a video. Yeah, well, I've tried to stop you to doing that too late yeah. into the evening. Yeah. Well, I, I have been I have been doing a cut off, you know, when I'm I'm stopping work, as it were. Yeah. Otherwise, it can just go on and on and on. Mm, mm. So that and, and again, that's why I've reduced the number of videos because I didn't want to be spending all of my time editing videos. I think one year we did about nine videos. We did because we yeah. we did fifty six bands. Yeah, it was just too much. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, so the the other one band that kind of like worthy of a mention that we didn't score on our little spreadsheet was the Bursner Lyceo TD. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> six, so you have to write this number down. 628G, I think it is. No. No? No, 684G. 684G. Which is a bit like 694, isn't it? Yeah. Because it was a very similar layout to the Bailey Adamo 694. Yeah, that's right. Because it had, it had the bathroom at the back, it had that. Yeah. Well, you caught Constantina door, no. the garage on the back. Yeah, but what yeah. sort of rules that out for us if we were thinking of upgrading? It's the price. Yeah, we, we just can't. It was, you know, you know, you're getting on for sort of eighty-five, ninety thousand. Yeah, I know. When we're getting into almost up to the Contiki, aren't we? Yeah, if we're going to spend that much money. We might as well go for a Contiki. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we still might. <laughs> we, we might, might save not. our money and. Uh, <laughs> Save wait, up for yeah, ten wait years. Yeah, four, wait four years until I'm you know, 70 and then decide what we're going to do. Yes. I don't know. I mean, it, you know, but it, it just it was an interesting journey for us, really just to sort of focus on what we wanted what to do. do. So I know it sounds a bit selfish. We didn't look at a lot of vans that people wanted us to look at. Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. so what so else do we want to cover? What else I want to cover is... Um, Thank you very much for everybody who oh. went to Ailing's store. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. had a fantastic week. She's had to go, I think they've had to go and get stock at least twice. Well, yeah, so it's been a fantastic uh, time for Ailing and her stall. Uh, they, they've bought an awful lot of stock. Yes. Uh, and yeah. been back again this morning, it's Saturday morning. Yeah, up very early, weren't they, to yeah. go again? Yeah. Yeah, and Poppy's sorted for a Christmas lunch. And she's got a bandana to wear <laughs> for Halloween next week. A Halloween bandana. <laughs> yes. I mean, we, uh, we go away uh, to a quiet site uh, round about Halloween. You're disappearing well, over I'll there. Well, I'll just put that over there. Okay. We go away to a quiet site over Halloween because uh, Poppy does get worried by the fireworks. But we also take our... Uh, our um, sister's dog Tara with us because she gets really worried by mm. fireworks so um, yeah, so we really try and find yeah. as quiet a site as we possibly can yeah yeah so we will be going to our usual site in Cumbria we're going to two aren't we two yeah. of our usual sites yeah. yeah 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 we're meeting up with Glyn aren't we Glyn and Sharon and yeah. posh cats again yeah looking forward to seeing Glyn we haven't seen Glyn for ages seen on her for a, ages on no. the site so uh, yeah no so that should be good yeah. You want um, to check your notes, see what else you got? See what else? Oh, we also wanted to thank everybody, didn't we, for oh. buying things from our shop. Ooh. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> because, um, well, we told people, didn't we, at the beginning of the show that yeah. our shop had gone live, and then during the evening we could hear this sort of like ringing sound. We thought, yeah, well, it goes bing every time someone, someone buys <laughs> something. And we thought, for the first time, we thought, what's that? Yeah. And then it was it went bing again and, and bing, bing again. again. <laughs> so, yeah, so thank, so thank you, you for everyone who's bought something from the shop. I hope you like it. Um, we didn't we didn't really want to get into doing all the shop part ourselves. So the shopping uh, and the fulfilment, if you like, and the manufacture and all of that sort of stuff is done by our friends at Design and Personalise in Burska. Yeah, well, uh, and and I think there will be things that will add to it. I think mm. one thing at least we wanted to add, uh, particularly before Christmas, is probably something like wine and gin uh, glasses. Yeah, yeah, things like that. Yeah, people have asked yeah. for. I'm just a little bit surprised that people want to see our ugly mugs on, <laughs> on merchandise. Well, the best seller so far is the mug mug one with the picture on the back. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. And I think few people have got a Poppy and Tara mug. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anything else you wanted to? us to add to the shop i know stickers i think we do need to add stickers yeah somehow. we can't can't get a decent well we've got that picture that we've got on the mug yeah. but it's a bit it's like a bit the middle dark, of winter in it? it well it yeah, was a bit middle dark. Winter, winter that's why and we've tried we got Alice to take a picture of us <laughs> yeah. didn't we? and that wasn't yeah. very good so no. well it's either too sunny too dark <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so we'll try yeah, again so we'll try and find a decent picture and uh, see if we can do that yeah Anything else? Um, well, or any other thing I wanted to say is it's still smelling really nice in here, <laughs> thanks to the Hoover Disc Queen that we made the little short about. Yeah. So we, we, we've, you know, the van's been smelling beautiful because we've had yeah. the air freshener and we've had the Hoover Disc and, yes. and we haven't had the scent bags, but uh, we, we might buy those and uh, yeah. do that. Yeah, Aileen was telling me there's going to be some new scents. I think she said cinnamon and pine and okay. things like that okay. for the Christmas time. Yeah, I mean, obviously you've got, you know, dog smells as well so yeah so yeah hopefully it masks some of that 
particularly when it, when it's been raining. Which is a damp dog, yeah. Damp dog yeah. smell. Can I have a damp dog smell one? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, definitely no. not. I don't want that. Yeah, yes. so I think I think you've waffled on long enough. All right, yeah. I'll shut up then. I don't think there's any. I haven't got anything else there right. on my notes. No. So I hope you found this interesting. If you did, give us a thumbs up, and we will catch up with you on a product review. I know I said I was going to do some product reviews. Yeah. I've got a couple to do, but one of them has been um, delayed because of supply issues. Now, I think you can probably guess what sort of product review mm. it might be. Oh, I've, I've gone on way too long now, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. have, yeah. So, <laughs> I think we'll just say, bye, bye then. Now. Oh, bye then. Oh, it's bye then. then. <laughs> I can't even get the ending right. <laughs> oh, try again. Bye, bye then. then. <laughs>